so I'm gonna start right now. <clears throat> you know, the other day I was um, I was walking down the street. I like to I like to I like to walk to and from the gym to already have my cardio in. So I'm, you know, I'm ready to work out. I'm ready to go. You know, that's just me. How I, how I am. And I noticed that I passed by all the chain stores, the Seven Elevens. I passed by McDonald's. I passed by Wendy's, and almost all at the same time, they have these signs out. It says they need workers, like anywhere from like um. 16 to 18 dollars an hour okay but here's the thing i've been in those stores and their staffs it's staffed appropriately like they have enough people to work there so i'm wondering wow that's weird that all of a sudden if you go anywhere it's almost like on cue everybody who's a major chain is saying that they need um people to work like why? Why would they do that? Like they like that? Oh hey hey yeah, yeah. How, how's everybody doing? Uh, you know, hope you're having a great day. We're here. Uh, you know, another episode. Uh, me and Chris Ride, the producer, in the house. In the house. We we're just talking about um. Well, well, I was talking about it. She was um, gracefully listening to um. I'm just I I find it funny. I just I like to I don't find it funny. As conspiratorial, what it is is it you know it just it's amazing because right now we're about to come out of the COVID nineteen. Hopefully, I think the mask um, restrictions are what June fourteenth in California. I think yes, I think so. Um, so all of a sudden, all these signs are up, and all these signs are up for um, you know they need employees all at the same time. All the chain stores, Burger King, McDonald's, and then um, 7-Eleven. Now, the funny thing is, you know, 7-Eleven, okay, here's one thing about California. California is a right-to-work state. That means, um, unless, unless it's due to discrimination or gender or sexual orientation, they can fire you on the spot. They just got to have your paycheck. It's happened to me a few times. And you can quit. You don't need to give two-week notice in California. You can just quit. That's the law. It's um, a right-to-work state. There's, uh, I think Idaho is another one. I don't, I'm not sure all the right-to-work states. But, like, for example, if you are working at a McDonald's, that boss can say that you're not doing a good job or you're coming in late all the time. They can let you go on the spot. There's no two-week notice. There's no warning. They let you go. As long as they have their, your paycheck for you in 24 hours, you are good to go. So I was thinking, well, maybe that's the reason. But they, they didn't do that before. Because the thing is, in, in L.A., there's a lot of people. Yeah. There's a large population. Yeah. And people keep coming. <laughs> and keep coming. So, and a lot of people that are coming, they need to work. So that's yeah. one of the first places they can work is a fast food restaurant or a yeah. 7-Eleven. You know, and they do. Also, with the advent of apps, you can quickly get up and running if you have a good, you know, a competent car. Exactly, exactly. So there's more than enough of a workforce yeah. already here. We're including people with green cards and coming from other countries. Because when people come from other countries to L.A., one of the main problems they have, and this doesn't only go for you know people in, from like South America. It goes for the Europeans, Canadians. They can't work. You need a green card to work. I don't care if you're blonde hair, blue eyes from Quebec. Guess what? For you to work in the United States, you need a green card. Right. Your looks or your, that doesn't work. And there's a lot of people that come out here for music. They come out here for movies. And they can't work over the table. And there's even restrictions to how long you can stay here. Sometimes I think Canada is six months and you got to go back and come back. You know, So I don't know what the visa protocol is. Exactly. Um, we can talk about that on, on another episode. But so you got people that are willing to work. Like they're willing, A, you got people who come out here to follow their dreams. They're willing to go to a Wendy's and, hey, if they could be the next, um, you know, the weekend, hey, man, they're, they're working at a. I mean, Billy Bob Thornton, he worked at, um, what, Round Table Pizza? Yeah, he had a few, uh, uh, how do you like, uh, uh, you know, 
roughly com common jobs, roughly common jobs. Yeah, common get jobs. Up run, get up and running here. Yeah, because, hey, this is not for the week. Brad Pitt worked at McDonald's. Brad Pitt worked at McDonald's. Now, picture in your head right now Brad Pitt at the drive through So you pull around the corner, order your Big Mac, and you have a young Brad Pitt. Because a young Brad Pitt, that was a handsome dude. Yeah. I mean, Brad Pitt now, <clears throat> he's a good-looking dude. But there's other people who rank with him. I'm not going to go through a list of men. Maybe Chris can do that. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> he's drop-dead gorgeous. <laughs> even, even, as, even as he's gotten older. But a young yeah. Brad Pitt was a bad dude. Yeah. He would take your girl. Hey, a young Brad Pitt took Mike Tyson's girl. Oh, yeah. So think how bad you have to Robin be to Gibbons. take Mike Tyson's girl. Yeah. Yep. Who said again, Chris? Robin Gibbons was the, back in the day, she was it. She was the it girl. Oh, man. Robin Gibbons could have any dude. I mean, she, and she's beautiful. But Brad Pitt, that was Brad Pitt's thing. Brad Pitt, people don't know this, but Brad Pitt was into sisters. They'll never broadcast that. They will never tell you that on TMZ. But Brad Pitt, he likes black women. So does Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, Janet Both. Jackson. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey and Brad Pitt, they they um they may have married women who are like um mainstream American to say, but they have dated like um this is only the famous black women. It's not like the, the regular like models or actresses who come out here. This is just the ones that you um so yeah, just a just a fact, you know, Brad Pitt. This stuff you don't know that you're here. You know, but um I know it's just funny. 